Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's Friday, the 19th of April. Some interesting price action going along in markets today. Are we approach the weekend and at the midpoint of the Asian session? Mike Smith, go market, see an analyst here to lead you around what's happening right now. As we review what happened last night, a US markets are weak again. Fifth straight day of losses for the SP 500 for the first time since October. A few things playing on market minds, obviously, the Middle East earnings. Slightly concerning at this stage, and of course, there's that rate cut uncertainty that we've referenced earlier in the week, as well as some technical weakness now across the major index charts. US futures are following through with lower trading in Asia today. A little bit of narrative kicking around that there may be a suspicion that Iran might be planning another attack on Israel over the weekend. Consequently, Asian markets are weak following that US lead from last night as well. ASX is currently down about 1.4%. It was actually slightly lower than that earlier in the session. But all sectors are lower and European markets are also pointing to a weak open if we look at the futures contracts there too. The US dollar index is strong again yesterday and higher again in Asian trading today. Despite this, gold is retesting resistance with a strong move in Asia. Copper surging towards 459 two-year highs and oil is holding support overnight but is very strong today on that potential for more Iranian strikes over the weekend that we've already referenced. Bitcoin is holding February levels, but looking weakish again today. And earnings, of course, remain in focus on Friday. is usually a quieter day, but we really ramp up next week. We get the conclusion of the IMF meeting with very little likely to influence markets from there. Japanese CPI was softer in this morning's data. This afternoon, we've got German PPI and UK retail sales out later. It'd be interesting to see how the market closes the week, but maybe some more risk comes off the table in light of those Middle Eastern concerns. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Very little positive on the ASX, apart from gold stocks, of course. So we've chosen Northern Star Resources Limited, ticker code NST. You can see there we've had a breach of a key level at around about 1540. We're now sitting at 1586. If we take this back to a weekly chart and even further back, you can see this is highs on this stock. And really, the momentum in gold looks as though it continues. So gold stock is not a bad place to be, uh, particularly in light of inflation and the Middle East. In the FX world, we're looking at the Aussie US. Uh, you can see that increasing weakness through the Asian session today, particularly over the last couple of hours or so, which has taken us all the way down to this 63.65 level and you can see on the weekly chart that this is moving down to lows not seen since November last year. Potential for a move down towards uh, this 63 level if we really start to sell off. So that's well worth watching. We're seeing this just drop as we're recording this as that concern what may happen over the weekend increases. There will be a flight to safety into the USD in gold. And so this may be a pair to keep an eye on. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.